Hey guys! Happy Tuesday. Well, it's not Tuesday for me, it's Saturday, but uh, yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm here making some tea. Um, I'm trying to cut down on my coffee intake, <laughs> as you can probably tell by my previous videos where I'm like totally just wired. Um, I'm gonna drink some like green tea instead or something. Oh, I found green tea. It's like kombucha detox tea. Love that. I hope I won't be shitting though from this tea. <laughs> Ugh. Don't you hate when this happens? I got my, like, this little thing stuck in the tea! Ah! Anyway, so I'm kind of just, like, bumming around the house today because there's a whiteout here in Toronto. We can't really go anywhere. The city's just white and the roads are really bad. You can't really see anything because everything's just white. It's been snowing the entire day. There's supposed to be a lake right in the, right there, but you can't really see it. This is my little cozy bedroom with my twinkly lights. I have this candle. How cozy, it's like a maple candle. This is my outfit of the day. Pretty comfy. This shirt's Lauren's. I stole it from her, like, the first day we met. Actually, no, she threw it at me, and then I proceeded to put it in my suitcase. But yeah, this is Lauren's shirt. These sweatpants are from Walmart. Hey! Look at that little, look at that little maple leaf. How annoying am I that I wear like maple leaf sweatpants? <laughs> anyway, I'm supposed to be making a video. Um, I kind of wanted to to do my intro just like vlogging because uh, that's how today's going, and I don't want this to be super formal because it's about a topic that isn't formal. And I mean, I just want to be as real as possible today. Uh, I'm gonna be giving you a little like mental health update and also a little conversation about seasonal depression. Sometimes, you know, you know how winters can be, especially in Canada. They can be very cold um, and very dark. And I used to get seasonal depression every single year. And it was really, really tough because in the summer, I would be perfectly normal. I would feel like myself. And then in the winter, for some reason, I don't know what happened. I would just always be super sad and I wouldn't want to get out of bed and I want to, wouldn't want to do things that I love to do normally. I'm usually a very like happy, bubbly person, but I remember like the first time I experienced seasonal depression was in high school and you know, my best friend used to greet me every morning at my locker and I used to totally shut her down and just be like, like why are you so energetic right now? Like, just leave me alone. And I totally wasn't myself. Um, and I know for those of you who have seasonal depression, we all have different symptoms, but that's personally what happened to me. I got really sad, really like just moody. Ah, this is hurting my arm, holding it up like this. For the past couple of years, uh, since I've moved to the city of Toronto, I haven't actually experienced it and I used to remember how it would feel like and how awful it was and you know sometimes some days I do have rough days where I don't want to get out of bed and I don't want to do things that I love or see people that I love but I can usually turn it around and not get sucked into that dark hole. So since I don't experience long-term seasonal depression anymore, thank God. I wanted to share a few tips on what I did to overcome that. These are just tips that have helped me and if it can help you in any way that would be amazing. That's the goal here. So I put my camera on the tripod just because my arm was getting tired from holding up my camera. That's why it looks like this. <laughs> um, anyway, I just wrote down a bunch of things in my little notebook here that might help you with your seasonal depression and bring a little light and happiness into your life if your life is currently quite dark. But before I get into these tips here, I want to say thank you so much Fabletics for partnering up with me to make this video happen. A huge way I got over my seasonal depression was moving my body as often as I could. Whether it's going to the gym, or booking a workout class, or even just doing an at-home routine. A big motivator for me was getting cute new workout clothes, because I was using the same stuff for years, 
and I found that I showed up for my health and body a lot more. With Fabletics, you can get more amazing quality items for a lot less than others. I just grabbed the cutest pieces from Fabletics' newest collection. I also just got a hot yoga membership at a studio near my place, so I'm gonna be styling every class. Fabletics has the most extensive range of sizes yet, now including 4X, and fresh styles that are fine-tuned to fit every body type. I absolutely love how Fabletics is super inclusive to everyone. That's a big thing for me. It's super easy to sign up. First, you'll take a fun, quick quiz that gives you personalized outfit recommendations for your unique style. Oh, make sure you include your email so you don't miss out on their exclusive monthly discounts and inside peeks on new collections. Signing up as a VIP member is the way to do it. You get 50% off regular prices every single day, free shipping, access to limited edition collections, and here's the kicker. As long as you order something before the fifth of every month, VIP membership is no cost. You can even skip a month if you want. If you don't shop or skip, you'll be charged a $49.95 credit to use for future purchases. It's honestly a win-win situation, guys. Unsure of how to start? Click the link in the description to get two pairs of leggings for $24. Guys, that's a $99 value. Be sure to get my favorite leggings while they're in stock, the Kessler high-waisted strappy leggings in the hot pink color. All right, I got my tea, I got my notebook, let's go. I found that the number one thing that I did to help me kick seasonal depression in the butt was make plans to leave my house as often as you can. Something that happened to me very often was I just could not get out of my house and I didn't want to get out of my house. I just had no energy and no drive to leave. And I feel like when you get stuck in that and you just live every day in your house, especially if you don't have a job or if you don't have school to go to, um, it can get very bad if you stay in your house every single day. Book lunch dates with people that you love, friends that don't drain you, take a walk or a hike, even if it's a winter hike, even if you have to wear like 10,000 layers, get outside. And sometimes the fresh air can be really great in the winter. And I know that, you know, if it's snowing like this, you can't really go outside, but I see people down at the park riding on their toboggans. I see people like swinging on the swings, even in the snow. So you can go outside. It'll make you feel so much better and fresh air is just so lovely to breathe in sometimes. So yeah, that's my number one tip. Make plans to leave your house. Probably the second most effective thing that I did to kick seasonal depression in the bum bum was to find other things to do other than my school and work. If you have hobbies, if you have a passion, do that in between your school and work schedule because it brings purpose into your life. It gives you something to do that you actually enjoy doing. At the time, I was still in high school and I had tons of homework to do and I was just I felt like I was getting trapped in piles of homework and that's all I did all the time is like eat, sleep, homework, go to school, like go back to sleep, eat again. I wasn't exercising my passion, making YouTube videos. That's what made me happy and editing it and posting it, it was all so exciting for me. So I used to make a lot of makeup tutorials. It made me so happy to try out different, different makeup looks and photograph them and then put them on video that's what made me really happy and passionate. Or I would learn a new song on the guitar and make a cover. And those were just things that I did to make me happy when I was experiencing seasonal depression. Once again, these are just things that have helped me and they won't necessarily help you, but hopefully it sparks an idea that you could utilize in your everyday life. This is also a really good one and something that I've been using this year. Have a buddy that will hang out with you if times are rough. When it was the fall, I was getting really in my head about how winter was approaching and how I used to feel every winter. It just made me really anxious about the thought of getting seasonal depression again this year. My best friend Jess and I experienced the same thing. 
every winter so we kind of keep each other accountable we make sure we text each other each day even though we would anyway but we always ask about each other's mental health how are we doing if you know one of us is having a really bad night and we just need to get out of the house if the other person can they'll come over or you know we'll go out to a coffee shop and just have coffee or go to the library and read a book and just be in someone else's company and if you have a friend like that that might experience the same thing or someone that just understands it text them reach out to them when you're not feeling great it sucks to just keep it all inside if you have friends that you don't feel great around you don't have any obligation to hang out with them. If you are hanging out with them and they're constantly putting you down or just making you feel shitty or they're just, you know, always complaining about their own life, that's not the kind of energy that you want to invite into your life. So just think twice about who you're hanging out with. Try not to use unhealthy methods of escaping reality. So for example, drinking a lot, smoking a lot. Alcohol is a depressant. A lot of people do tend to rely on substances to make them feel better. I even went through a phase where I felt like I needed, you know, a glass of wine every night to at least bring me some kind of joy. And I'm telling you right now that if you do that often for that reason, it will only bring you a little bit of happiness for the time being but after when you come down from that it'll make you feel even worse it can make you happy for a short period of time but if you do it a lot the long-term effects is it'll make you even more depressed one glass of wine is okay sure but you know if you're constantly binge drinking and doing that just to escape your reality it's not gonna help trust me so just think twice about that this one's pretty obvious but practice self-care on the regular I know I talk about this all the time and some people are like Ugh. <laughs> but Self-care could be anything you want it to be. Self-care could literally be anything that makes you happy. You know, you could paint your nails, make a vision board, go online shopping, clean your closet and sell your old clothes. That's what I just did. You can take a mental health day off. If you're not feeling well and you need a break from school or work, you know what, there's nothing wrong with being like, hey, I'm not feeling well today. And even though it's mentally not feeling well, it's still not feeling well. It still means that you need a break and just make sure that it's not every day and with that being said just take breaks from your work if you're doing homework for a long period of time take a little break like every hour take a five minute break you know make yourself a tea and just let your brain rest for a while this is another big one listen to music that uplifts you <laughs> I actually had a few albums on repeat when I was experiencing seasonal depression and now I listen to those albums and I'm reminded of that sad time in my life and they, it was a lot of like, you know, Lana Del Rey, Billie Eilish, kind of like melancholy music that didn't necessarily bring up my spirits, it just made me like sink deeper into that hole. So I encourage you to listen to, as much as I love those artists, listen to music that's upbeat and happy. Because if you if you have like the, when we all fall asleep, where do we go? That, that's the Billie Eilish album, right? If you have that on repeat, girl, that's, no. Like, listen to something happy as much as I love Billie. Exercise whenever you can and I know that's a, a big thing to ask of someone that is experiencing depression because sometimes it's hard to even get out of your bed. If this helps, maybe book an exercise class elsewhere that you have to like physically drive to or like walk to or take the train to. Book your time slot in so that like you can't cancel it and not go so that like you have something in your schedule and you have to go to it. Booking something in kind of keeps you accountable for attending that exercise class. I used to book a lot of yoga classes. That made me feel a lot better for the time being. Um, and just practicing mindfulness, meditation obviously is super important, but I don't even need to say that. You guys know that. And I think there's probably a lot more things you can do, but those were just the things that I could think of off the top of my head. If any of these things did help you, I would love to know. Please comment below in the comment section. I just want you to know that you are not alone in this. So many people are experiencing this on, on the daily. Because a lot of people do ask me like, oh, you had seasonal depression a few winters ago, but why don't you have it anymore? Um, and I think 
one of the major reasons was that I moved out of a toxic town and I moved to the town of where I would be pursuing my dreams. So that was a really big thing for me too. And I cut out a lot of friends that were making me feel shitty. Like I said, I'm not saying that this is going to work for everybody, but I just hope that I gave you a few tips and you feel a little bit better. Once again, thank you so much, Fabletics, for partnering up with me to make this video happen. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to click the link in my description box to get two pairs of Fabletics leggings for $24. If you're new to the brand, Fabletics is known for their game-changing leggings, so you really can't go wrong. Personally, I've tried so many different leggings from different places, and none of them have looked this good and fit this well on my body type. These high-quality leggings are actually usually $50 each, so two for 24 is an absolute steal. All of their pieces are super affordable and trendy. You really have nothing to lose. Plus, they update their styles every single month, so there's always new stock. I love you guys!